So we, we start with our Monarch HD product, which we've started shipping uh, over two years ago now. So virtually anybody using video um, could make use of a VOD type application, but also live applications. And this is what this uh, device is ideally suited for. Uh, the ability to stream that content live as well as record it uh, locally at a different bit, bit rate, a higher bit rate for uh, post-event editing and down for, for VOD applications is really what made this product um, shine. And uh, we evolved the product further with our HDX product. A bit bigger brother of it, it's got more inputs and output options, so SDI as well as HDMI, more encoding capacity, more flexibility. Uh, there's uh, the two encoders in this device can be tasked for streaming or recording, so dual streaming, dual recording, or potentially streaming and recording, again, at independent bit rates. If you wanted to stream uh, to a primary and a backup server, you could use this device for that. Should you want to stream at a, a low bit rate as well as a high bit rate to target different type of, uh, of viewers on different network types. Uh, on the recording side, if you wanted to record locally to an SD card or say, uh, as well as to a network drive so that people can immediately access, they can be configured easily via web-based UI, so any browser can access for control. At the show this year, we're showing um, integration, broad, how a broadcaster might want to integrate with our Monarch HDX. So Ross makes a, a family of routing tools, uh, and we have here one of their 16 by 16 routers. And they come with a, uh, a control and monitoring solution called, called Dashboard. This is an open standard, and using our API, we've created a module to let uh, broadcasters using the Dashboard uh, monitoring and control software to easily integrate this streaming solution, a recording solution, into a, a much larger infrastructure using ROS gear. Uh, you can do the same thing, we're showcasing also Crestron controllers for the same purposes in the AV space, school space, they're using Crestron a lot to do control of the lighting and the sound in classrooms and environments. Uh, you can go ahead and also integrate the streaming and recording application within the same interface of the, of the controller. I'd like to also speak a little bit about a very interesting um, application or, or product we're selling now called VS4 Recorder Pro, targeting multi-channel recording, frame accurate recording for uh, live productions, multi-camera productions. So the VS4 Recorder Pro, this is an I.O. card uh, that has four SDI inputs. And um, these inputs, these could be uh, non-genlocked SDI sources, all come into the device, and we record each one of those uh, inputs frame accurately uh, starting at the same file. Uh, we have a very um, easy to use quad split user interface for control of uh, either independently the cameras or again in multi-camera shoot may, where you may want to add event markers and other types of metadata such as time code. Uh, our VS4 Recorder Pro application lets you do that and you can record again in H.264 so four channels of full resolution H.264 capture or potentially in our MPEG-2 uh, intra-frame codec, which is uh, higher quality and very easy to edit. In addition, VS4 Recorder Pro can be used um, in combination with additional systems that have VS4 Recorder. So I can have up to 16 channels of frame accurate recording uh, by simply having multiple systems. VS4 Recorder Pro is available today. The hardware and software combination is the price of uh, $24.95 US dollars.